I'm Tom Merritt from Daily Tech News Show with the top five failed home video formats. They're failures. You think you know all there is to know about failed home video formats, don't you? You think it's all Betamax, Laserdisc, HD, DVD? Well, think again, my friend. The home consumer video landscape is littered with all sorts of failed ideas and products that hoped to make home video a thing. So let's adjust your tracking and fast forward to the top five failed home video formats. Number five, digital VHS, high def videotapes. Digital VHS or DVHS was devised as a way to expand the VHS standard into HD resolution, supported by JVC, Hitachi, Matsushita, and Philips. DVHS players can play classic VHS and SVHS tapes. You needed the DVHS tapes, though, if you wanted to record in 1080i or 720p. And when it launched in 1998, DVHS was the only consumer format to play back HD video. It would remain so until the arrival of HD DVD and Blu-ray. However, a small library of pre-recorded content and confusing technical specs translated into low sales. So the last DVHS movie was released in 2004. Up to number four, TED or Television Electronic Disc. German electronics company Telefunken released TED in 1975. The system worked like a phonograph using eight inch flexible foil discs that spun at 1,500 RPM. TED discs were limited to 1,000 plays with a maximum capacity of 10 minutes of video per disc. It couldn't compete with VHS or even Betamax. Telefunken adopted the VHS format in 1978. Sorry, TED. Coming in at number three, CED, Capacitance Electronic Disc. This was an analog video disc playback system developed by RCA, introduced under the name Selectivision on March 22, 1981. This system used 12-inch PVC-based conductive discs etched with high-density conductive grooves used to hold video and audio. Another video format that played like an LP, but the CED player used a capacitive stylus to read the disc, and CED could hold 60 minutes of video per side. So better than TED, but you could only play it 500 times. The last title released on CED was Jewel of the Nile in 1986. Sliding in at number two, Video 2000, thousand, thousand a.k.a. the Video Compact Cassette. Philips and Grundig released it in 1979, going up against VHS and Betamax. You could record on both sides of Video 2000 cassettes for up to four hours of recordings, and later models featured a half-speed mode that increased that to eight hours. Because it was designed with PAL and CCAM video standards, it was released in Europe, Brazil, and Argentina. Now, technically, most people thought it was superior to Betamax, which doomed it because Betamax fell to VHS. At number one, Cartrivision, the granddaddy of home video distribution. The Cartrivision was introduced in 1972, mostly sold through Sears, Macy's, and Montgomery Ward stores in the US. It sold as a whole TV with a built-in player for 1,350 bucks, which is in 2023 dollars, about $10,000. You rented your movies by mail order from a selection of 200 titles. You could not rewind the red rental cassettes, so no rewatching. You could also buy black cassettes for your home recordings and you could rewind those. The product lasted 13 months, ending in July 1973 after poor sales, which I don't know, maybe is a good thing since the company discovered that many of its Cartrivision tapes disintegrated due to humidity when stored in their warehouse. 
Now, this isn't an exhaustive list of failed and defunct video formats. What would you add to your own list? Let us know down below in the comments. And if you want more great tech news and info, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, youtube.com slash daily tech news show. Get our podcast at dailytechnewsshow.com. And if you can help support us at patreon.com slash DTNS. We'll see you there.